Welcome back, you beautiful fucks. It's me, Danny. Back at you. Back at you. Come back to me with another video. You guys make a video for me. So we're switching it up. Just kidding. Today we are looking at Orga and my Godzilla 2000 figures. I think I said last week we're going to be looking at Manda. I apologize. But I got my YMSF Orga figure that I ordered that, as you can see. So we're going to be taking a look at that before we go any further. And then next week we can talk about Manda and whoever else I want to put in that video. But anyway, let's jump right into this. Alright, starting off here, we have my custom. You guys have seen this before. It's my custom Godzilla 2000 bootleg or Millennium Godzilla. I go either way. Call it whatever you want. I don't care. But it's based off the Hanna-Barbera. And I really like the way it came out. I'm just showing off again because... Again, it's one of the Godzilla 2000 figures I have, even though it's a bootleg. So, bootlegs, great for painting, great for practice. And I like the way it came out. So I have to really say on this one. This, up next, is the Bandai Creations Godzilla Millennium. My first Millennium Godzilla. So, I didn't say this earlier, but the Millennium suit from Godzilla 2000 and... Godzilla vs. Mechagears is my probably my favorite suit next to Tokyo SOS and against Mechagodzilla. I really love this design. So this was the first figure that I could get of him because it was sold at a Toys R Us and not on eBay from a seller that my parents didn't trust despite them having a 5 out of 5 rating. So I've had this since I was a kid. He's a little. I actually I recorded a different shot of this guy from a while ago and he was really dusty so I dusted him off. You don't see it in this video though. He looks much better now. Uh, looking back on this, yes, the design is not completely accurate. Bandit Creations never really made them that accurate, but still pretty close. I do not like that foot, though. And I'm not like that pose. I just, I can't get with it. Don't like it. But still a solid figure besides that. Up next, this is the pinnacle. The pinnacle of my favorite suit. The Bandai Movie Monster Series. Godzilla 2000. It is so great, I have two of them. So I always wanted this figure when I was a kid, and I never got it. But, thanks to this great site known as Amazon, they had it on there. And this this is one of the figures that kind of got me back into the addiction known as Godzilla collecting. Because I saw it on there, probably like two or three years ago, and I was just like, holy shit, they sell these? I wanted these when I was a kid. And now, I ordered one, along with a whole bunch of other ones that they had on Amazon. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. I love this figure. I'm not into, like, crazy poses. He has a very neutral pose, which I love. The figure and the detail and the paint looks amazing. The card looks amazing. And I had, again, I just had to get two. It was only 20 bucks. I think it's a little bit, maybe a little bit pricier now. Maybe it's a couple more bucks, actually. I don't know. Check Amazon. I think they still sell it. But it's a great figure. I love it. And just it feel it, this is this is the fun of collecting toys, where it just you get stuff you wanted when you were a kid, and now you're grown, and it still makes you feel like that that youthful happiness. It, it warms your heart in very good ways. It's like pouring hot chocolate on your body, but it doesn't really burn. It just feels really warm, like a nice blanket. That's what it felt like when I bought two of these Godzilla figures. Exactly how I felt. So this guy right here is basically the same exact figure. Now this, I believe, was maybe a Godzilla store exclusive or just a limited time figure. Um, I forget what it... I, I honestly forget from where it's based off, but it's just a different paint job, same figure. It looks beautiful. I obviously had to get it because, again, it's the same figure, same sculpt that I love. And it just looks better. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me back up. To Calm down, Danny. I don't know if I'd say it looks better. I think they all look great in their own ways. They're all beautiful. But the blue and the, the, the shiny, like, gray on top of the black. I'm bad at paint terms. I'm sorry. But you know what I mean. Look at him. He looks amazing. We're looking to do a little comparison. Again, both solid figures. But I just had to get that one. And I'm really got to have it. Moving on. Now we're looking at the 7-inch version of this figure. Now, this is from Godzilla vs. Megagirus. It came in a two-pack that I did not get. I got this figure by itself. Uh, but the two-pack came with him, along with Megagirus, Meganulon, and uh, 
another version of Mega Something and a little ship that from the movie. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, great two pack. I almost got it, but then they re released Mega Gears by herself, so I just got that instead. But I had to get this figure because, again, it's just the sculpt that I love. I love this figure that much. The warm chocolate, the warm milk on your body. There it is again. Because when I bought this one, it looks too good. It looks like a girl. That's why I just, no. I'm slurring my words here. But it's a different paint job. Uh, has orange, translucent, translucent fins. And it's, again, it's a little bit taller. But it just looks great. And you're going to see here in a second that he's not alone. Because they did, they do, uh, what do they call it? Uh, what is it called? Hang on, it's coming to my, here it is. Uh, theater exclusive. That's what they're called. I saw this guy again, and I was like, I need, that looks sick. I need that. So, I sent Guy money, he sent me figure, I have it. And this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. It just looks amazing. I still have the tag. Tag is honestly not that exciting on this one, or really too many of the theater exclusive figures. It's pretty basic, there it is. Uh, but the figure itself just looks beautiful. Looks like he's just combusting, like he's exploding. And I love it. Uh, the fins, though, are not like translucent like on the other one before it. I think you'll see in a second, or if you haven't already noticed, uh, they're more solid. They're, I mean, they are solid. So, I don't know why they went that way. They could have maybe done a little translucent, but that's okay. It still looks amazing. And I love this figure so much. Okay, now we're transitioning to the foe of Godzilla 2000, which is Orga. I don't know how many Orga figures are out there, but this is the Bandai Movie Monster Series one. I have a feeling that they'll probably eventually make another one, but this is the original, I think. I don't know how many re-releases had. That tag is awesome. I love how they have that poster on the back of it. Uh, inside, it's kind of boring. But this figure is pretty cool. His articulation, you'll see in a second, is not that impressive. It's one of those kind of, one of those points where it moves. And it's kind of like, oh, okay, that's neat, I guess. But the figure is pretty solid outside of that in terms of, you know, the details, except for the slice down his his hump back. The seam, there, it's there. It's not hiding. He's proud of it. He's confident. I give him that. But it's obvious. But, oh yeah, his legs move too. Which, I mean, that's always nice. But it's a good figure. Um, I was very happy to get it. Because, again, I just don't know how many Orga figures are out there. Uh, you'll see in a second, though. I have another one now. Thank you, YMSF. There's uh, Godzilla 2000. And another one. From Bandai and Bandai Creations. Bandai Creations is a little too tall. Uh, but it's okay. This guy, though, he's the new piece. For the collection ymsf he did the orga eating uh, evolution where he tries to eat godzilla which never ends well for anyone why would you eat something that breathes fire who knows he was hungry obviously because he has that big ass mouth the big lips and this figure is amazing i haven't bought from ymsf in a while so it was kind of nice to reach back out to him he does a pretty good job. Pretty good job. That's an understatement. He does an amazing job. I love a lot of his figures. Um, and this one is just insane. Like, the legs. You have to attach the legs and the arms yourself because he's such a big figure. You, I did have to heat them up a bit. Uh, I thought the legs could move, but it looks like after a while, once the plastic kind of hardened after I heated it up, now he doesn't want to move. But his arms do move. The paint on him is amazing. The detail, too, is also fantastic. It just looks awesome. I, when I saw that he was doing this, I knew this was going to be one I had to get. And the price wasn't too bad. It was about 115 I think? 105 I forget. It, it was something that I was like, okay, I'll pay for it because this is a very unique figure. We don't have anything like it. And it scales very well with a lot of these, as you can see. So I just had to get it. And I'm very happy. Shout out to him. If you have not bought from him, he does a really good job. I've been wanting to get one of his King Kongs. I haven't, but I probably will hopefully soon do it because I love a lot of his figures. I have a few of them. Uh, but, yeah, I know I had my opinions on the Varan, but that's just one out of how many, you know, how many YMSF I have. All that was a thumbs up, by the way. 
all these figures are great. Uh, again, Godzilla 2000, the Millennium suit, one of my favorite suits. Godzilla 2000, the movie was the, like, I remember as a kid, so I first got into Godzilla because I walked downstairs one day and my mom was watching TV. She was watching Godzilla vs. Destroyer. I had no idea what it was at the time. All I knew was like, whoa, mom, you're watching something with this burning dinosaur. It's fighting this monster. That's cool. So they knew what Godzilla was because they grew up on it too. So like the next day, they took me to the VHS store and they had Godzilla 2000 to rent. So that was like the first full Godzilla movie I watched. And I just love his design and it holds a very special place in my heart. So that's why I have so many. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. The, all these figures are fantastic. I hope you have a great day. And next week will be Manda and something else. I promise. Unless I get some cool figures in between then. And I don't promise. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you all next time.